Okay, so I am very excited and very honoured to be here backstage at the Balau St. Jordi with uh, Damien, who is lead singer of the fantastic Brit Floyd, Brit Floyd tribute band, and also one of the band members, Edu, as well. So thank you very much for joining me today, gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, Edu, which part of Italy are you from? Uh, I'm f I was born in Milan, but I grew up in Tuscany, Pisa. Oh, right, okay, good spot of the world, very good spot. Uh, so, Edu, if you don't mind, I'm just going to be directing quite a few questions to, to Damien, being all rock and roll. Um, so, Damien, at what stage of the tour are we at now? Uh, well, the, the hope, when it comes to the whole year, we've done uh, 80 shows around North America so far, and then we're about two weeks into the European leg of the tour. Fantastic, and uh, how many weeks is the European leg? Um, it's just uh, just over two months, you know, about nine weeks. Okay, so how do you deal with them? Um, how do you maintain your enthusiasm, I guess, when you're on tour for so long? Um, it, it's a fun tour to be on. I'm working with some fun people. We're playing in great places in front of uh, very passionate fans of the music. So that's what keeps the enthusiasm going. And regarding the fan, can you describe to me what... Um, a typical Pink Floyd fan is. Do you change? Do you see changes every year that there's a younger generation, thanks to your group, that you're still maintaining the idea and the the philosophy of Pink Floyd alive? Yeah, certainly. It, it's I've been doing this for over two decades, and I've seen a whole whole new generations of fans coming along uh, to uh, to our concerts and uh, getting into Pink Floyd music. And yeah, yeah, it's bands such as ourselves that give them the opportunity to hear this music live still. And Obviously, Pink Floyd is very close to your heart in terms of tribute bands. You were formerly in the Australian one, correct? Um, what artistic, I suppose, changes or, I suppose, decisions did you make coming into Brit Floyd that separates you from the previous group? Uh, I, I think it's it's simply that we've we've taken it a step further in in how in the accuracy of the show, the detail, the effort we put into every aspect of the show, whether it be the music, recreating the guitar sounds, uh, the video, the lighting, every sort of aspect of the show has sort of been refined that bit more. And do you take on board? Does everything go through you? Do you pick and choose what you want as the final accurate image? And then do you have a team of people behind you, or, or how does it work? It's a little bit like that. I mean, I suppose the book stops with me artistically to a certain extent with this show, but the, fortunately I've got a lot of great people uh, working working with me who sort of, uh, you know, produce that finished result for people to listen to and hear. And that's great to hear. And with regards, I was just checking up on your news as well. You've got New York dates lined up as well. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're very excited. We're playing at Radio City Hall, which is a, a, an amazing venue for us to get the opportunity to play in. You know, it's, it's the, one of the premier venues in the whole of the USA. That's amazing. I'm sure you felt pretty pretty chuffed with yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm sl slightly, <laughs> slightly pleased. <laughs> <laughs> and with regards to the Pink Floyd fans here in Spain, they seem to be pretty, pretty diehard. Like you do get a good, if not tremendous reaction. Oh, definitely so. I mean, we were playing in Madrid last night and it was an amazing audience, you know, really, really uh, ha happy and enthusiastic and singing along to every, every uh, word of the, the concert. So yeah, it was great. And also I was talking to Jim Kent, who's our, who's our boss of Barcelona City FM. So hello, Jim. And he informed me that not even Madonna was able to sell out Palau St. Jordi. Wow. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty good going then. So, Damien, you're you're doing something good. <laughs> it, it would appear so. <laughs> <laughs> and um, with regards to uh, tonight, uh, what can our fans expect? They can expect uh, over two and a half hours of uh, of the finest Pink Floyd music, including tracks like Echoes, for example, all twenty minutes of it, and tracks from Dark Side <laughs> of Noon, Wish You Were Here, The Wall, Animals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I have to admit, um, I do love Pink Floyd, but the great one of the facts or one of the kind of advantages of playing a Pink Floyd song is that you can put on a song, this is like radio wise, put on a song, maybe go out, get a cup of coffee, come back, and then you don't have to worry about changing it just yet. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'd, I'd wait till the end before going out for the coffee myself. <laughs> exactly. And uh, gentlemen, what can we expect? Um, what cover or what cover? What song are you going to play, more importantly? We're going to play Wish You Were Here, the title track from the album. All right, perfect. So what I'll do is I'll get out of your way so you can uh, serenade us. And here, there you go. We are going to play Wish You Were Here. So don't go anywhere.
the veil Do you think you can tell Did they get you to trade Your heroes for ghosts Hot ashes for trees Hot air for a cool breeze Cold covered for change Uh, well, gentlemen, thank you so, so much. That was brilliant. And thank you. Uh, no, thank you Excellent. too. Okay, so everybody back there, um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw because I certainly did. And if I don't think you can get any tickets for tonight. I'm not sure. If it's no. sold out, I imagine not. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There was like one left, I think, about three days ago. So uh, you just have to wait and see uh, the next time around because you're going to be around for a couple of months anyway doing your European tour. Yeah, Lots of places to play all all the way around Europe, all, all over the ship, the shop. <laughs> <laughs> and when's your next day off? Um, uh, actually, in London on Mon uh, Sunday. Sunday, we arrive in London on Sunday. Well, enjoy your day off, and thank you so much for taking the time out for Barcelona City FM. And this was and is Brit Floyd. Great, thank you so much. Thank you so much, gentlemen. <laughs>